Hey guys, it's the Pinhead back with another video today. I'm gonna tackle my very first movie review on this channel and it is Valentine. Happy Valentine's Day. I thought I'd pick a movie that has to do with Valentine's Day. It was either this or My Bloody Valentine. And I kind of wanted to review this because I wanted to give you my thoughts on it. Um, it's a 2001 slasher film. Um, it's got a pretty good cast in it. Denise Richards, Marley Shelton, Katherine Heigl. Um, that dude from Bones. <laughs> and um, it's got a killer that's kind of unique. He wears a Cupid mask. And he's kind of like Michael Myers. You know, he stalks people, um, kills them with different weapons. He's not, you know, prone to just one weapon. But, um, you know, it's about this kid who gets picked on in junior high school. There's a, high, there's a junior high school dance. He asks these girls to dance with them. They all reject him except for, you know, one that says, I'll dance with you later. And then the other one, uh, who is kind of a fat girl, she makes out with the kid. And then some other boys tease Jeremy. They strip his clothes down, start kicking him. The most embarrassing moment probably in that kid's life. It probably scarred him for life. Um, you know, he's going to need psychotherapy, all that stuff, you know, when he gets older. So that was a tragic thing that happened at this dance. 13 years go by and they're grown up and they're still in cliques. You know, these girls still hang out together. Now, um, in the beginning, you have Shelly played by Katherine Heigl who gets killed. And she was one of the girls who denied Jeremy a dance. And she was considered the smart one. Each of the girls have qualities. So you have Lily, and she was supposed to be the outgoing or the fun one. You have Dorothy, and she was supposed to be the fat one. Um, you have Paige, played by Denise Richards, who's supposed to be the sexy one. And then you have Kate, who's the main girl in this. And she was the popular one. So they each have their um, their own theme, uh, which is neat. So they're like the four main girls in this um, who are being terrorized by Jeremy Melton. And it's very easy to tell who Jeremy Melton is because he gets nosebleeds, which he did at the dance. So anytime the killer is wearing that Cupid mask right here, he gets nosebleeds. So you know that's Jeremy Melton, you know, underneath the mask. Now. The question is, who is Jeremy Melton? Who is playing him? Well, they throw a bunch of male characters in this. They throw like three or four male characters in this to keep you guessing. Who is Jeremy Melton? The thing I like about this movie, they do not show who the killer is until the very end. And I'm talking about the very end of the movie. I'm not talking about like Scream where the last half hour of the movie, you see who the killers are and then it goes on from there. No, no, no. In this movie, you find out right before the credits. And then it ends like that. I, I kind of like that. I, I really kind of like it that way. Yeah, Denise Richards in a bikini. You never see that. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway. Um, mm -hmm. So it keeps you guessing. And I kind of like that, you know. Some of the dialogue in this is really poorly written. Um, but it is, I think, somewhat of an original film. Just because of the way the killer is. The killer uses, uh, you know, butcher knife, uh, bow and arrow, uh, a, a, a clothing iron, um, a drill. He just, he uses whatever he can. And I like that. It's, that's really awesome. I mean, like I say, he does kind of act like Michael Myers because he stalks these girls and, like, you know, he walks really slow when he's chasing after somebody. Um, it just reminds me of Michael. But anyway, that's basically the plot. You know, these girls are all growing up now. They get Valentines that are kind of threatening. Um, and there is some irony. You know, whatever they said to Jeremy Melton as a kid, that's, you know, he remembers that. So he's using it against them. Sending them valentines that, that basically is, they're like death threats, basically. So, um, you know, they're, they're on the lookout for that, but that's basically the whole movie. That's basically the plot right there is that um, they're trying to figure you're trying to figure out the mystery of Jerry Milton. Who is he? Um, you know, the killer is, is picking these girls off one by one. And that's basically it. Um, I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed the movie for what it was. 
I think I saw this the same time as I saw Hannibal. I think I saw those two movies in one night. But I, I remember liking this movie. I didn't think it was that bad. But this is the old DVD, the, the cardboard snap case. I hate these. I hate these cases, by the way. I just, I freaking hate them. Um, but anyway, not a bad movie. Check this flick out. Um... It's nothing special. It's nothing like, oh my god, I gotta go out and get... No. It's nothing special. Just check it out. For a good slasher movie, for a good time, check it out. It's got an amazing soundtrack, too. There's some Rob Zombie in there, some Disturbed. Um, great soundtrack. Um, so, I will leave you at that. I'm not gonna give you... You know, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm not gonna tell you who the killer is. I'm not gonna tell you how many of these people die or whatever. What, you know, none of that. Um, I'm going to let you find that out for yourself. So give this a watch, Valentine. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, and if I had to rate this out of 10, I'd probably give it a solid 7. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, uh, stay tuned for more of these movie reviews. And um, also my horror collection updates and Blu-ray updates coming soon. So, um, happy Valentine's Day. This is the Pinhead. Signing off, and I will see you guys next time.